this evening in a Class 1A matchup. Of course, the Senators coming off of last night's game, a rare Thursday night occasion, down at Morton where the Senators fell to the Morton Braves. Uh, final score in that was 56-47, but a much better outing by uh, the Senators last night, much closer than it was back during the holiday tournament when uh, Borden was able to put them away by uh, 17. So, Senators still young, still still trying to find their way, but uh, have definitely gotten a lot better as the seasons went on. Tonight's game should be a, a winnable game for them. Crothersville coming in with just two wins on the year. Uh, one of those over Medora, the other one over Canton. So, uh, you know, Crothersville is a small school and, uh, you know, uh, not, not sure what they have here basketball-wise, but their record uh, doesn't indicate that they've, you know, had much success so far. So, Senators still trying to build on their season, getting ready for sectional play. Uh, that'll be coming up in a few weeks. We'll find out about that and where they're, who they're going to play. We know where they're going to play. It's a sectional up at Edinburgh this year. So, uh, looking forward to that. But a lot of basketball left here. Uh, and it starts tonight as they take on the Crowsville Tigers. Kate Nabbitt back in the house with me here tonight. First thing I want to say, get it out of the way. Happy birthday to Katie. Today is Katie's 16th birthday, so uh, happy birthday to you. He told me he would hit me if I sang, so I'm not going to sing. So that's, uh, that's all I'll bring up. That's all I'll say about it, buddy. Happy birthday. Thanks. <laughs> what do you think about tonight's game? Oh, uh, I don't know. I feel like we could easily get a win. I mean, looking at their record and their play over the last couple of games, they're only, what, like 2-14 or something? Yeah, just 2-14, and 14, I believe it was, on the year. Like I said, they had those two wins uh, over uh, Candleton and Medora. Um, you know, if you look down their schedule, you know, they play some common opponents that we play uh, at the 1A level. Uh, uh, Borden, uh, just for an example, the team we played last night beat Crescentville back on December 30th. Uh, final score in that one was Borden 75 and uh, Crescentville 40. So uh, they beat, uh, they beat, uh, Borden beat Crescentville by 35 in that contest. Uh, Trinity Lutheran, another common opponent. Uh, they were able to beat uh, the Tigers 72 to 48. Medora, like I said, uh, was one of the wins that Crothersville got, but just a six point victory there. So, uh, you know, Tigers struggling a little bit at, on, the, on the season here tonight. Yeah, they don't look like they're like not athletic or anything. I think they just have some hard time getting the shots to fall. Uh, from what I see in the layup lines, they had a couple of dudes that were getting pretty high up there. And I'm sure a couple of them might be able to dunk with like a women's ball or something, but they were getting up there. And I don't know, I just don't think they hit their shots very well as we've seen right now. They've missed a lot of threes and twos, easy twos that they could have hit. Yeah, it looked like they're a pretty young team as well, although they do have uh, one, two, three seniors listed. No, just two seniors listed. Uh, a couple of three juniors, four juniors on their roster, the rest of sophomore and freshmen. So much like West Washington, but they may be, a, you know, they're maybe a little more uh, tested uh, as far as across the roster than what we are. Uh, but talking about the Senators, last night's effort, we talked about the loss, but a lot better effort just down three at the half. Third quarter kind of got away from us a little bit as uh, Borden was able to put up quite a few points in the second half. Uh, they scored 15 in the third, 18 in the final quarter, although we matched in that final quarter. So, um, you know, that, that nine point deficit uh, was uh, pretty even throughout the fourth. But in that game last night individually, uh, the Senators led uh, again in scoring by Lane Hoffman. Uh, Lane with uh, five two point field goals. Two, uh, three three-point field goes, one for two from the line. He finished with 20 points in that contest. And uh, Kent Chase, second leading scorer, finished with 12 points for the Senators. Caden uh, Zink had a pretty good night, seven points, a couple big three-pointers when we needed one. 
uh, Jackson Cameron with a three, and then uh, we had uh, McCoy had a, a basket and a free throw, and Mason Cox had one bucket. So Senators still, uh, you know, still trying to find some more scoring, but. You know, I just go back to what we've said all season long with Lane. You know, Lane gets beat up every game. <laughs> he uh, wasn't any different last night. That seemed to be the uh, the way that the uh, Senators were, uh, you know, going to be guarded. That's just the way they do things. As uh, Coach Lowry back here rubbing on me, he sticks that chicken sandwich down here. I might get a bite of that thing, that Chick-fil-A. You know, he didn't bring us one, though, did he? You know, that was a sad part of that. So. But anyway, uh, you know, good to see Coach Lowry in the house here. And so, football guy's been working the concessions quite a bit, so good to see that. And uh, just glad to be back here in the gym tonight. So, looking forward to this one, Coach. Yeah, uh, we should, the way it's looking on paper, we should get a win, but you just never know with some of these games. Just like last night, uh, we're going to try to be by more than nine uh, on paper, but uh, we battle and then third quarter we struggle and then we started making the comeback, but it's just a little too late in fourth quarter. So, like every time we score a big bucket, pace and we start to come right back for another big bucket. Yeah, it seems like we have a hard time. The third quarter's definitely been our worst quarter all year long. We just had nine points last night in that third quarter, and then the, four, the first quarter wasn't very good for us either. We had one field goal in that first quarter of play last night, and that was a three-pointer that, uh, that Kate Fink hit early, and uh, Lane Hoffer had a free throw. So we only scored four points in the first quarter opening the game last night. Uh, so luckily that second quarter is when we had, uh, you know, a good quarter. We got started to score a little bit and uh, kind of got our way back into it just down three at the half. And then, uh, like we mentioned, third quarter kind of got away from us again and tried to play catch up in the fourth. But Morton was hitting uh, about everything they threw up in the game. So, uh, you know, we just got to keep working and, uh, you know, get some wins down the road here. But we got a lot of games coming up that, you know, that I think we can uh, we can compete in and uh, and hopefully get some wins. We got Crothersville tonight, Orleans, Henryville, and Mitchell next week. So that's not going to be an easy week uh, with Orleans, Henryville, and 2A school pretty decent. Mitchell uh, has been kind of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. They, They've played well at times and then struggled at times. So, you know, those are games that, uh, you know, I feel like we could compete, but we'll have to play well to win, and that's that's what it's going to take. And then we wind out the season, really, only only uh, six games left with tonight's game included, so five after tonight. So this thing's winding down as we get towards the end of February. Then we'll have the sectional draw here. I think that's coming up. Uh, yeah, two weeks, I believe on the 20th, maybe, uh, is when that uh, section of draw is. So we'll find out a little bit more about that as we, uh, and we'll talk more about that as the, as the season goes on here. But, uh, you know, it starts tonight. Need to get a good win here tonight and get, uh, get the kids' confidence back up. You know, I'd like to see some of our, uh, some of our guys that don't score as much get some points tonight. And uh, hopefully that'll be the case as uh, we're about uh, three minutes away. We're going to pause, take a break here, work from the sponsor or two. We'll come back with the national anthem and the starting lineup here on your home for Senator Sports at WWSR. Gates, Carnegie, Rockefeller, I'm not. Generous, caring, rich in spirit, I am. You don't have to be a person of great wealth to make an impact. When caring individuals give through a flexible, creative, capable organization known as a community foundation, our philanthropic potential is unlimited. As your local community foundation, we provide you the opportunity to permanently support the causes you care about both near and far. We do this by protecting and administering permanent funds through thoughtful grant making to improve the quality of life in the community we serve. Simply put, Donors who give through a community foundation build sustainable, permanent funds called endowments through contributions, big and small, to support organizations they care about most, forever. Through the generosity of our many donors and the responsible, informed investment of permanent funds, 
We will increase our grant making ability for the benefit of our community for generations to come. All we need is you. What causes are you passionate about? What organization matters most to you? We can help you ensure your charitable interests are supported forever. Donors can give to an existing endowment or establish their own. Some choose to give now, while others make their gift later through their will or estate plan. To learn what your options are, talk to your community foundation. We're here to help you reach your philanthropic goals. If you love our community, let's leave our little corner of the world a bit better than we found it. Not just today, but for future generations too. The Washington County Community Foundation has been making our home a terrific place to live, work, and play since 1993 through the generosity of donors just like you. Why? Well, just like you, we also really love our community. Didn't make any Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave <laughs> All right, welcome. We are live back here at West Washington High School here on the Ron Smith Court as we get ready for this basketball game here tonight as we'll have the starting lineups introduced for uh, both teams here this evening. So, Crothersville Tigers will be first. Uh, head coach Bryant Lehman will be the uh, head coach for the Tigers. I'll do theirs and we'll let Kate do the West Washington's here tonight. So number five will start at one guard, uh, Preston West. He's a junior, 5'9", 150. Number 12, Adam Turner, a junior, 5'10", and 160 for the Titans. Number 22 will start at one forward, Zach Hill. He's a senior, 6'1", 160. Number 34, Devin Morgan will start at the other forward, a junior, 6'1", 168. And number 44, Damian Bowman. A junior, six foot one sixty, for the Tigers here tonight. Starting at the one yard for the Senators, five and sophomore number three, Jackson Cameron. And guard, a six five junior, number twenty. And at the other guard, Lane Hofer, 6'5", junior. 
And at the other guard, 5'11", sophomore number 22, Kent and Chase. And at the other forward, number 5'11", junior, Mason Cox. And at the other forward, 6'2", sophomore, number 24, Titan Williams. All right, ready to get this one underway here this evening as we will tip it up here at uh, midcourt as the Senators take on the Crothersville Tigers as we get ready for this one here this evening. Looks like Lane Hoffer will uh, jump it up against... Uh, Number 34, Devin Morgan for the Tigers. Lane definitely with a height advantage, and he'll tip it into the backcourt. Kenton Chase will control the tip, and we're underway here. Kenton will bring it across the timeline, go near side here to Hoffler, back to Kenton. Now far side, it gets over to Mason Cox, Jackson Cameron, back to Kenton Chase. Now to Hoffler, back to Kenton, over to Jackson, and now to Mason Cox, in the lane to lane, and he shoots it, gets it to go. Two to nothing. Hopefully with the first buck of the night. Back the other way, West brings it up for the Tigers. Heavy pressure by West Washington and a timeout called as uh, Help had the ball and uh, he had to uh, get a timeout or he was gonna get trapped there, Caden. Yeah, uh, good pressure by the Senators and just uh, making them step back and use one of their timeouts early. And so uh, hopefully we can do that a lot and eventually they can't call too many timeouts in the round. Yep, 32nd timeout called here by Crothersville. Just uh, <laughs> less than a minute into the game here and they had to burn one there because Help was about to get uh, trapped there and maybe get a five second call or steal. So um, Coach Bryant uh, saw something he didn't like and called the timeout. Tigers will inbound at midcourt here. It looks like Damian Bowman will throw it in as it'll come in to West. West with the basketball now. Dribbles on the far side. And now backs it back out. Top of the circle. Hands it off. Gets it off there to help. Now to number 12. Turner now back to West. Inside pass. 22 with it. That's help. Shot up from deep three there by uh, number 12, Turner. He missed it, but a rebound by the Tigers. They'll drive the baseline. No shot there by Turner. He'll flip it back out. As, uh, Turner will get it to West. Now back to Turner. Now inside they go. Ball on the floor. Crothersville comes up with it. Drive. Now they dish it out. Wide open three. 22 with the shot there. Help. And he knocks down the three-pointer. So Tigers three to two here. Yeah, Mason kind of just lost the ball there. Didn't see him pass. We got to get, to get on the boards. Yeah. Inside pass to Mason Cox, and he turns it over. First one Buddy of the night. comes back and tries to get a steal. And he's going to get called for a foul. As they come back down the floor, he uh, reached in from behind. So first foul of the night on the Senators. They're first and Mason's first. Trap coming here. They get it over to Turner inside. Now they kick it back out. It goes to West. He'll spin. Shot up. He's got it to go. Crothersville on fire right now. They can, uh, come into it with some spunk. I'm sure they look at this game and think, hey, this is one we can get. Hoffler back to Kenton Chase. Far side to Cameron. Now to Cox inside. Lane on the baseline. Now pulls up. He's got his second field goal tonight. Five to four. Crothersville. Ball back up the court quickly as the Tigers get it inside. 34 with the shot. It's up and good. That's Morgan. And it's a 7 2 4. And they haven't missed a shot yet. Yeah, just good offense by them. And uh, they've come out hot and they've realized what they got to do to win. Jackson Cameron with it. Throws it cross court. Almost throws it away. Kent Chase will pull it down. Back to Jackson now. He'll drive, gets cut off, goes cross court to Jack or to uh, Kenton. He'll drive, got the shot in one as he gets fouled. So Kenton with his first bucket, and he'll go to the free throw line. Foul going to be called on number 34, Morgan. It's his first team first. So Kenton will go to the line with a chance to tie the game up here at seven. If he can get this free throw to go in, it's up and it's down. Seven off as we're here with 5.28 to go in the first quarter. 
Tigers back up the floor, help with it. He'll drive it in to the free throw stripe. Now flips it back out there to Turner. Now gets it off to 34 Morgan. He spins and they are gonna get a foul call on the play against West Washington. Uh, it looks like they're gonna get Titan Lynch. His first team second here in the first quarter. I didn't see much foul there. It's come more of a travel than anything. Yeah, help uh, inbounds it to Morgan. Now they get it back out to Turner, inside pass, an easy bucket up and in by Bowman as he scores his first of the night. Nine to seven. Senator's not playing much defense right now. No. Cameron with it far side, gets it out to Lane Hoffler. Now to Kenton Chase. Kenton with it far side to Lane. Lane will pull it down, kicks it out to Cameron. Now back over to Chase, cross court to Lane. Hoffler with it, back out to Cameron, over to Kenton Chase, he'll drive baseline, now goes to the hole and scores. Tate, he's got that every time if he wants it. Nine to nine, tie ball game, West brings it up quickly for the Tigers. He'll spin in the lane, goes up strong, misses the shot, and the rebound pulled down there by Grayson McCoy, who checked in there at that last timeout. Hoffler now with a deep three ball off the mark. No good. Rebound pulled down by Bowman for the Tigers. And they get it up quickly there to number 12, Turner. Now he'll get it off to West. West here on the near wing goes baseline. Bowman another shot. No good. Rebound by Titan Williams. And it will go back to Cuttersville. Another turnover by number, the Senators. Number five, Caden Zink checks in for Jackson Cameron. Tigers to inbound here. They'll get it in. Turner throws it in there to Morgan. Morgan spins, kicks it back out there to Turner. Or to Help, actually. Help now to West. West will drive the lane. Spins, goes in strong, throws it up. Got it. I'll tell you what, this team come to play. They, they, they're not backing off anything here. Yeah. Getting chase with it. Just good offense by them so far, and we got to step our defense up. You're exactly right. Hoffler with it, gets it off to Kenton. Now baseline to McCoy, back out to Chase. Goes over to Zink, now to Lane Hoffler. Hoffler with it, kicks it back out to Kenton Chase. Now over to Zink. He'll throw it cross court to Hoffler. He goes in the lane, shoots it. Can't get it to go, but he's fouled as he'll go to the free throw line. Caden Zink's got to shoot that right there. He's done that a couple times last night. He's just got to shoot it. Uh, he's one of the older kids on this team. and I, I don't think it's not that he doesn't have confidence. I think he's just a look pass first than more of a shooter kid. I agree. That's a good point. He does need to look to shoot more, but, uh, you know, he likes to make that extra pass, which a lot of times is a good thing. But uh, when he's open, he's got to take those shots. And he can hit them. Hoffler hits both free throws to tie the game at 11 here. 325 to go here in this first quarter. Mason Cox will check back in now for Titan Williams. Crothersville will inbound. It comes into West. He'll bring it up, flips it over as it comes over to 34 Morgan, and he walks with it. So that's a turnover against Crothersville, their second of the night. And the Senators will get it back. Yeah, uh, you know, Titan, he's been physical all year, but this 34, uh, he was in. 34, yep. Morgan has stayed up with them, been physical right back. You know, most teams don't show too much physicality. This team's pretty physical, and they do what they got to do to win. Hoffler gets it in the lane and shoots another eight-footer. Got it to go. Drive all the way down the floor. Hoffler gets it into himself. And another and rebound. What'd you say? You just said lane pass to himself. Oh, well, he <laughs> took the shot me. in the middle. I know, I'm messing 13 with 13-11, to 11, back out to Kenton, now to Lane. Ooh. Hoffler will drive again, throws up a one-handed runner. Can't get that one to go. Rebound pulled down by Bowman for the Tigers. Gets it off to West. He'll spin, shoots it, can't get it. Hoffler with another rebound. Off to Kenton Chase, up to uh, Cox. He'll drive, makes it, can't get it to go, but Kenton right there for the rebound. He scores again. 15 to 11 here. West with it. Looking now, can't find anybody. Now he'll just shoot the three ball, no good. Another uh, tip uh, rebound out to Mason Cox as Hoffer tipped it out to him. Ball goes in the corner to Zink, back out to Kenton. Now up to the Hoffer. Lane with it, looking, now gets it out to Zink. Zink, top of the circle, under two minutes to go here in this first quarter. West Washington 15, Cotersville 11. Cox with it, bad pass. 
And going to be stolen away again as the Colorsville comes up with it. So another turnover. Mason really struggling at this point. They get it far side, deep shot up. Number 12 gets another three-pointer for the Tigers, and he pulls it within a one-point game, 15-14. He threw that thing way up there. Yeah, he did. I thought he was airballing. Yeah, it looked like it was going to hit the rafter. Hoffler with it, gets it off to Kenton Chase here near wing. Senators with a one-point lead. Into Mason Cox, now back out to Hoffler, across the court to Kenton. Kenton will drive baseline, dishes to McCoy. Out to Zink, now to Hoffler, wide open three, and he bags it. Center's up by four, one minute to go, 18-14. West back down the floor for Crothersville. He'll drive, jump stop, nobody there. Now has to kick it in the corner. They'll get it inside to Bowman. He'll spin, nice block by Hoffler, and Lane takes it away. He'll bring it back up. Gets it off to Kenton, now in the corner to Zink. He'll shoot the three ball, and he got it to go. So center stepped it up. Yeah, they They're playing a lot better right now. Well, the, the offense started with their defense. You know, they, yeah. they picked it up on this end of the floor, and it's showing down on that end. So they take a full timeout. We'll take one as well, and we'll be back here. Senators 21, Cuttersville 14. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers. Unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227-9421. 227-9421 or just visit our website. Right. All right. And we're back here live as we come back from the break. Senators up by 7, 21-14. 37 seconds to go here in this first quarter of play. Crothersville with a timeout here as the Senators uh, have spread this lead out a little bit. Uh, they'll break the pressure here to shown by West Washington. Shot up from the baseline, number 10. He, he checked, checked in the in. game, O'Sullivan scores. And it's 21 to 16 now. As Kenton Chase will bring it up, gets it off to Zink, back out to Kenton. Kenton on the drive, now hands it off to Hoffler, far side to Zink, 15 seconds to go. Now in the corner, Hoffler wide open, can't get that one to go. And Crothersville pulls down the rebound. They'll get it off the west. He'll bring it up. Splits two defenders and throws it up off the glass. Good. He scores again. He's got six in that first quarter. So they come right back and get some buckets here to uh, pull it down to a 21 to 18 score here at the end of the first quarter. So we'll take a break. Come back with you here on your home for Senator Sports, West Washington Live Stream. Here at WWSR, we have all the hits from the 80s to today, while also rocking out with some of the classics. There are also exclusive interviews with some of the West Washington's head coaches during their seasons, breaking down the best of the upcoming matchups. And there's more programming to come, so stay tuned with WWSR being available on the school website, Alexa, or your favorite device. And for those interested, sponsorship slots are available. 13,000 feet has a way of testing a man's soul. After all, you were never meant to take on such an endeavor. That long drop is what separates human from superhuman. And here we are, right here, right now. You're good at motivation, we're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. All right, back here live as we get ready for the second quarter. Senators 21, Crothersville 18. Uh, looked like West Washington was going to start to take control of this one, but the last two possessions, the Tigers were able to score to cut it down to a three-point lead. They'll get it back here. Do you want to go second yeah, quarter? Yeah, I got it. Okay. West has it. He'll drive, kicks it out to number 42, Kloss, and he'll get it number 10, O'Sullivan, back to West. West looks, back O'Sullivan, 
He's going to get a screen, and he'll get it into number 12, Adam Turner. The shot up, no good. Rebounded by Adam. Tried to save it, but it goes into Peyton's game. So uh, no one really went for a board there. And Adam no. realized that and went for it. Yeah, that's been our problem a little bit. We're not hustling. They're yeah. out hustling. Caden Zink has the ball, kicks it. Ken Ken drives, shoots the jumper off the backboard, no good. Rebounded by Fight for it, and uh, 12 Turner comes out. He'll drive, but they'll get him for a double dribble because it hit his side. Yep, another turnover by the Tigers. That's their third here in the first half. Yeah, he did. <sighs> uh, McCoy will pass it into Chase, and Chase will bring it up for the center. Chase will get it to uh, Hoffler. Lane will get it over to Zink in the lane in the corner. He shoots three, no good. Rebound by 12, Turner. Turner will give it to West, and he'll drive. He'll bring it up. 34, Morgan has it. He'll drive, shoots no good. Rebound by McCoy, gets it to uh, Chase. Chase will find wide open, Peyton Zink. Doesn't shoot. Over the lane, over Cameron in the corner. He'll shoot the three, though, and yeah, it's good. You got it. So 24, 18, centers on top. Five, six. Nice shot by Jackson Cameron there. Uh, number 10, uh, so O'Sullivan will have it. He'll shoot three. No good. Rebounded by number 20, Lane Holfer. And he'll bring it up for the center. Gets it to Kent Chase. Kent drives, kicks it to Kate Zink. Thanks about three. Doesn't shoot it. Back to Lane. Lane's going to shoot a jumper. No good. Oh. Rebounded by 34, Morgan. And he'll bring it up. Well, he'll give it to West, and he'll bring it up for the Tigers. A good screen from Morgan. West drives, picks it, number 42. Cross, he'll shoot, no good. Rebound by five. West, he'll shoot, no good. And Chase will have it. He'll get it wide over Peyton Zing. But it doesn't shoot. Gets it back to Chase over the lane. Lane looks, gets it to wide open Jackson Cameron. He shoots a three and it's a two for two. Two in a row also for Jackson Cameron there. Yep, good shooting uh, by Jackson. Yeah, centers up by nine. 18-27 with 5.30 to go. Uh, West shoots a three, no good. Rebounded by uh, Lane Hofler. And he'll bring it up, gets to Caden Zink in the corner. He looks, gets it to Lane. Pump fakes, back to Zink. He's gonna drive, gets to Kenton. Kenton will get it to Jackson Cameron. He'll go for a third one. Oh, oh, barely misses. Fight for the rebound. And Jackson Cameron will come out. Oh, with the, oh he yeah. barely misses the layup. He's kind of stumbling there. Um, 12, uh, Turner will have it. He gets to the West. West no good. Rebounded by Lane Holster. Cothersville kind of went cold. They can't hit anything now in their shots. Lane's going to have it. Gets Kenton Chase over to uh, Zink. Back to Lane. And to McCoy at the free throw. Back to Lane. He's, oh, he almost shot a deep one. Jack's camera nice right open with the bucket. And it's good. Timeouts. Cothersville Tigers. We'll talk about no, halftime. So, take a break. Uh, we'll take a quick break. I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> All right, we're back here. Uh, centers up by uh, 11, 18, 29, 440 to go. So, uh, you know, Crothers will just run cold, like you said, right before we went to the break and just can't get a shot to fall. Mason Cox will check in for Lane and Titan Williams will come in for McCoy. Yeah, Jackson Cameron already with eight points here in this quarter. So, Wes will have it. He'll get his number 10, O'Sullivan. He'll shoot, and it's good. He bounced around everywhere. Tight pass it into Kent, and Kent will bring it up for the center. So he'll get it to Cameron. Cameron looks, gets it to Caden Zink over to, oh, stolen away, though, by number 22, Help. He'll give it, he'll get it back. He's going to pump fake, look. Tries to get his number 44, Flouts, or not, or Bowman, but he fumbles it. Yeah, another so, turnover. They threw it out of bounds. Fifth turnover by Crowsville here in the first half. So, uh, 
Kenton Chase will have it. He'll bring it up, and he gets Caden Zink on the wing. Titan at the top of the key. Cameron at the wing tries to get back into Titan, but stolen away. But Mason Cox comes out of it with it over to Wyatt. Well, Kenton Chase. And Caden Zink has it just plays off of Coach Sullivan. And Cameron's going to shoot a three, and it's good. Got it. So Jackson, what, three for three on the free? Yeah, three? He, he's on fire right now. He's got 11 points in this quarter. 32-20, yep. centers up by 12. West will have it. He'll get a screen from Bowman, but stolen away by Caden Zink, and he's going to drive. And he shoots, and it's blocked by West. Nice steal there by Zink. Good hustle there as he took it right away from West. Lane got switched up, who he was supposed to check in for. He got Zink instead of Ken. Uh, so Lane will pass it in. He's looking, gets it to Caden Zink. He'll get it into wide off the tight one. Turn and shoot, no good. Rebounded by Mason Cox. He'll get back up and he scores. So turns up by 14, 34 20, with 340, well, 310 to go. West will have it. Kicks it to 22. Help back to West. West will look. It tries to get it in number 12, Turner, but it tried to oop it to him, but it's tipped out of bounds by Carter. So it's a good defense by Mason Cox, realizing the oop's coming. Foul called on oh. O'Sullivan for them. 42, Klaus will come in, and 34, uh, Morgan will come in for 44, Bowman. And 42, Klaus came in for number 10, O'Sullivan. So, Caden Zink will bring it up for the Senators. He'll get it to uh, Lane. Back to Jackson. Mason will have it. Tries to get it into Lane with the 10th five. The tie West will have it. He's going to be looking. Um, get the screen from uh, Morgan. Puts it out to Turner. Over to the help. He'll look. Gets it to 42. Clouds. Clouds will look. Tries to get it into help, but they'll call a kick on Titan. So. Tigers will retain the ball. Um, 22 help will pass it in. He'll get it to West. West will drive pump fake, but gets it back to help. Help stepped out of bounds. So Senators will in. return the ball. Another turnover. That's seven up to seven now for the Tigers here. Yeah, it looks like Senators starting to run away with this one. Senators got four of their own. They they need to take care of the ball. Uh, Cade Zink will have it. And he'll get a call for Coach Sullivan and gets Pike Williams, who's going to drive, shoot, and it's good. Nice shot, Titan. Uh, 22. Uh, who's that? Helt will have it. He gets it to back. Well, West gets it back to Helt. Over to Turner. Turner will be looking. Gets it to West. West is going to get a screen from Helt. West is going to drive. Hop step. But stolen away by Jackson Cameron on the pass. Lane will have it. Thought about getting this nice toss, but couldn't get it there. Afraid he's going to get stolen. Jackson Cameron shoots another three. Oh, Ooh, barely misses. Fight for the rebound. Titan and Mason fight for it, even though they're on the same team. But Curzonville comes out there with it. Turner will have it. The hustle by Mason Cox. And Turner air balls are way up. Yeah, Mason Cox got by with one there. He yeah. fouled him. <laughs> uh, Lane will have it. He'll get it to Caden Zink. Back to Lane. Lane will get it into Titan Williams. Over to Caden Zink. Back to Lane. Lane will drive, shoot, and it's no good. Rebounded by Lane, though. He'll go up for it again, and he gets fouled, so he'll have two shots. That foul on Morgan, yeah. that's his second team. Oh, that's not, that's not, that's on the floor, actually. So 22 yeah, no shot. Chase comes in for Caden Zink, and 42 gets subbed out by 44. Bowman come Bowman in come for Klaus. Him. Klaus, yeah. So uh, Titan will pass it into Cameron over to Lane with a minute to go. Center's up by 16, 30 to 36 to 20. Kenton will have it. He'll look. Gets it to Cameron back to Lane. 50 seconds into Kenton. Kenton will shoot a jumper and it's good. Center's on fire. Right now. So uh, West will have it. He'll bring it up. 
gets a screen, but gets it to Hilt. Hilt, uh, 34. Morgan will have it. Gets back to Hilt. Hilt will drive. Shoots, shoots it, and it's good. 20 seconds left to go. Up by 16 still. And Kenton will get a play from Coach Sullivan. And they're going to press because they know what they're doing. Oh! They kind of. Yeah, they bailed him out. got away with one right yeah, there. Yeah, they that called wasn't help really a foul. for a foul. His first. Team's fifth. 17 seconds to go here in the first half. Senators 38. Crothersville 22. Uh, Lane will pass it in. He'll get it to Chase. Chase will look. Drive, shoots a jumper. No good rebounded by Lane Hooper. Cameron will have it. Gets it to Lane with five seconds to go. Lane will shoot a three, and it's no oh, good. in and out. Rebounded by Bells. He'll get it. Tries to get to Old oh, so McCoy stole it, but it wasn't in time. So uh, Senators up by 16 and a half, 38 22. We'll take a commercial break and be back if you wait in the half time. Three yep. and a half time stats on your home for West Washington Sports, WWSR. Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. Hi, I'm Matt Wolford, president of the IHSAA Foundation, and we need your help. We need your help so the youth of our community can develop advanced leadership skills. We need your help giving high school administrators and coaches the instruction and insight they need to be better role models and teachers. To learn more or to make a tax-deductible contribution, go to IHSAAFoundation.org. You'll not only be contributing to the foundation of the IHSAA, you'll be contributing to the foundation of our community. Not really. A licensed sports Legal official like is a great way to make a positive difference in the community and support the over 160,000 Indiana student athletes that participate across 22 IHSAA sports. Sports officiating allows you to stay connected to the game, become a role model for our young student athletes, earn extra money, and support the patrons and communities of our IHSAA member schools. To learn more about becoming a licensed IHSAA official, log on to IHSAA.org slash officials today. Gates, Carnegie, Rockefeller, I'm not. Generous, caring, rich in spirit, I am. You don't have to be a person of great wealth to make an impact. When caring individuals give through a flexible, creative, capable organization known as a community foundation, our philanthropic potential is unlimited. As your local community foundation, we provide you the opportunity to permanently support the causes you care about both near and far. We do this by protecting and administering permanent funds through thoughtful grant making to improve the quality of life in the community we serve. Simply put, donors who give through a community foundation build sustainable, permanent funds called endowments through contributions big and small to support organizations they care about most, forever. Through the generosity of our many donors and the responsible, informed investment of permanent funds, we will increase our grant-making ability for the benefit of our community for generations to come. All we need is you. What causes are you passionate about? What organization matters most to you? We can help you ensure your charitable interests are supported forever. Donors can give to an existing endowment or establish their own. Some choose to give now, while others make their gift later through their will or estate plan. To learn what your options are, talk to your community foundation. We're here to help you reach your philanthropic goals. If you love our community, let's leave our little corner of the world a bit better than we found it. Not just today, but for future generations too. The Washington County Community Foundation has been making our home a terrific place to live, work, and play since 1993 through the generosity of donors just like you. Why? Well, just like you, we also really love our community.
It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. This is our weekly conversation with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. And Paul, we are in championship mode as we speak uh regional round for girls basketball swimming diving wrestling um this is a busy busy time for everyone and an exciting time for everybody involved it is it is uh you know just met with the staff this morning coach and you know we're just they're they're sitting there and they're tweaking this and tweaking that and solving you know <laughs> right a uh, little problems along the way you know you know you think about it, it's a, it's a pretty big undertaking that that you march 407 schools through four levels of the tournament to get them to the the crescendo when they can celebrate a state championship so there's a lot of excitement here you know i uh you know, it's, it's, it's a good time of year to be in Indiana and celebrate student-athletes. Well, it really is. And, and I also think, and I, we've talked about this, I think, before, but uh, I remember many, many years ago when I was in high school, you wouldn't ha- you didn't have girls' regionals, sectionals. You didn't have girls' championships. And this time of year and the 50th anniversary of Title IX, sometimes we lose sight of all the things that were done and all the people who did great things and laid the foundation for these young ladies in this generation to be able to have the opportunities they have. Yeah, and that's exactly right. You know, we uh, did an interview with a a younger athlete here recently, and, you know, the the message that that younger athlete was, and they were were, uh, rightly so a little not as versed in Title IX. But then I got to thinking about that. Isn't that a wonderful thing that we have a girl that grew up in participation that just participated and didn't have to worry about not having access to sport like uh, people did years ago. And, you know, we can always get better, and we always will. But, uh, you know, the fact that 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 student athlete was able to participate in a world and in a country like ours and and really didn't feel the effects of of, uh, not being able to participate like her uh, predecessors did years ago. We're talking with the commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Nighting, and Paul, we mentioned, so you're embarking, as you uh, noted, wrestling, swimming, regional uh, basketball for girls. All of these um, are held in some of the greatest venues in the country, and we've talked about this multiple times. But it's an added bonus. If you're a student athlete in the state of Indiana, when you get to the championship level of your sport, you're going to be competing in world-class facilities that world-class athletes have used. And uh, I think that uh, another reason why the IHSA stands out in its uh, championship opportunities for men, for boys and girls. Yeah, you know, Bob, we're so fortunate. And I've said this all along and I'll always say this. We're fortunate to be in Indiana. It's just a, it's an yep. incredible place to live, to grow up and to celebrate. You know, we've, we've not been called the amateur sports capital of the world for, um, no reason. And, you know, as I walk into the notorium on Saturday or Friday night and watch student athletes, um, participate on the campus of IUPUI and I look up on that wall and I see those great Olympians that have walked through that building and they're mm-hmm. winning mm-hmm. the Olympic gold, you know, uh, incredible facility, incredible place to show states their skills. And then we simply jump right out of that. And we go to game bitch field house, the home of the Pacers and the fever. And we're going to, we're going to pack that, 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 that field house from the floor to the ceiling with people that want to be fans of wrestling. And it's an incredible event. And, you know, we're going to do that on Friday and Saturday next week. And, you know, again, it's we get to do it. Our kids get to do it in first class, world class venues. So have you uh, arranged for the weather to be better this week than it was last week? Or we're counting on you to, to make that happen for us. Coach, I always put a call in to old Mother Nature. I, I put my request in early. And, you know, sometimes that uh, I've been lucky with that request. I get what I ask for. And other times, you know, other things take priority. And, you know, so those kids wanted a snow day and they wanted to go sledding down a hill. So that took priority last weekend. But we figured out a way to get through it all. Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Neidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community.
All right, back here live at the half. The Senators up uh, 38 to 22 here in this contest, a 16-point lead. A lot of activities at the half. They introduced the uh, fifth and sixth grade Senators and then also the seventh and eighth grade teams that have done a fine job this season. And uh, congratulations to those kids and their coaches. And then uh, we had to chuck the duck. We had to wait to come back on the air because Caden had to chuck his duck out there. But he, he didn't win. Mine he sucked. was close. Yeah, it wasn't his birthday present. We no, should have bought five. No money. <laughs> No money for you. Next time, next time we'll do it. But great first half here to run down the scoring in the first half for the uh, Senators. Uh, Jackson Cameron uh, come alive in that second quarter. He had uh, three three-pointers, one two-point field goal for 11 points uh, in the uh, ball game here at the half. Lane Hoffler uh, didn't score the second quarter, but he got 11 in the first quarter. So them two tied for the... A uh, high point man here at the half with 11 apiece. And then Kenton Chase comes in with nine. Uh, Titan Williams had a bucket for two. Caden Zink had a three-pointer for three. And Mason Cox had a bucket to give Almost the Senators 38. For uh, the uh, Crothersville Tigers uh, in that first half, they were led in scoring by West, who had three field goals for uh, six points. Uh, to lead them and then they had a host of other guys that had three four uh, Helped had five for them in that uh, First half of play to give them their 22 points. So Back here to start the third quarter as we'll start the second half this quarter's always been trouble for us throughout the uh, Season so far so we'll see what the Senators can do here in the third quarter. You want to do the third? I guess. I'll just finish it if you want me to. Okay, I'll wait. I'll do the third and you can do the fourth. All right. I like to share. It's your birthday. You get to control right. what you want to do. 22, Kent Chase will have it for the Senators. He's going to bring it up. He'll look. Gets it Jackson Cameron over to Titan Williams. Looks in the lane but doesn't get it there. Uh, Kent will drive. Kicks it to wide over Jackson Cameron. Pump fake. Side step. Over oh, for three. Air Ooh, air ball. Well, that didn't look like second quarter. No, it did. Uh, oh, that's a foul on 12. No, they're going to get Mason Cox. Yep. First uh, half of this, first foul of the second half. Mason Cox uh, just picked up his uh, second. second foul of the night. So, a uh, 22. Helt will pass it in. And he will look. Well. Didn't even give it to him. Uh, five West will have it. He'll kick it back to help over to Turner. Turner in the corner still looking for somebody. Gets it to solve him. And help will have it. He gets it to West. West will get it to Turner. Turner pump fake. Shoots a deep, deep three. And oh. it's good. And Lane Hoffler will, Hoffler will have it. He'll get Kenton. Kenton just blows right past him, but oh, it still went to the rack. Lane will have it. He'll shoot a jumper, and it's good. So Lane starts off top. So, uh, Senators up by 15 with 6.52 to go. Uh, Help will have it. He gets it to 10. O'Sullivan over to Turner. Turner almost drops it, but recovers. Help will have it. Guarded tightly by Titan Williams. Kent Chase will have, well, Turner will have it. And he just got blocked by Jackson Cameron, number five, Westgate. Uh, uh, Kent Chase will blow past that he got in score. Uh, Turner oh. will have it almost stolen away by Jackson Cameron, but he gets it to West. Turner will have it for another three. Oh, air balls. And that's going to be out on number 10, O'Sullivan. So the centers will get the ball back up by 17. Yeah, good job there uh, defensively by the Senators. I tell you, Wes, uh, he wants the ball every time down the floor, but uh, they didn't get it to him that time. Kent Chase will have it. He'll get a screen from Lane, and Lane gets tied up, but Kent just goes straight to the rack and gets it to roll in. So Kent starting off on this third quarter with uh, 44 to 25. Senators up by 19. 
Lane oh, Lane blocks number block. 10, O'Sullivan. It's Lane's second block of the night. Titan Williams will have a wide open bucket. He gets fouled. Oh, he got He'll hammered. go to the line for two. Kent and or Titan come down pretty hard on that elbow. 34, Devin Morgan. Third. Third foul on there. Morgan, that's the team's first here in the second half. Titan will go to the line for a couple of free throws here. Uh, Titan will shoot his first one, and it's oh, oh no in good and out. In and out. Forty-four. Klaus, well, not Klaus. Bowman will come in for thirty-four. Morgan. So Titan will go to shoot his second free throw. And it's no, also no good. So no, stolen away though by Jackson Cameron, uh, and he'll get a double triple call. That's not a double dribble, really, when they knock it out of your hand. Uh, that's uh, Odie Brock over there, probably the oldest referee in the state of Indiana. Been done in a long time. He refed when I played. Been a long uh, time 22. ago. 22. Health will have it. If he ref when you play, he'd be a dinosaur, Dad. Uh, five <laughs> West will have it. Oh, my goodness. Health, <laughs> Health will get it again. <laughs> and he'll get it to West, and West will shoot the deep three, and it's no good. Rebounded by Titan Williams. Well, <coughs> him and Turner will fight for it, and Turner will tip it out. Golly, can you believe he said that? I can't believe you said that. Way before the three-point line. I don't think Larry Bird was born. Yeah, he was. I'm joking. I played against him. Oh, yeah, whatever. Uh, one, Mason Cox will have a scores. So that'll be 46-25. Center's up by 21. Turner will have it. He gets to 10 0 Sullivan and he'll get it back. Turner will. And he gets it into help. Tries to at least, but he throws it out of bounds. So uh, the Tigers just not playing very good offense right now or defense. 42 Cox will come in for 10 0 Sullivan. You know, Crothersville in that first quarter, I thought, you know, they looked pretty solid, but they, I see their problems now. They get frustrated and turn it over. They've already got two here in this third quarter. Titan Williams, one of those tracks of camera. They'll get a three second violation though. So Crothersville ball. Second turnover Coach Solomon by the is not very Senator. happy by that call. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure that was three seconds, but we won't argue with the refs. They're right. Turner will have it. He'll bring he it traveled. up, gets it to West. Uh, West will be looking. Had a wide open Bowman, but doesn't get it to him. Klaus will have it. And he is getting guarded tightly by Cameron. And uh, <laughs> Turner will have it. He tries to get it into Bowman. Oh, and stolen away by Kent, Kent Chase. And he'll blow past West and misses, though. Mason Cox, good hustle. Fight for the ball. And jump ball, so Crothers will retain. Uh, let's see. That's Ten, Grayson McCoy comes in for Mason Cox. Eight, 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 and eight, number eight, five, Casey Link will come in for Jackson Cameron. So it looks like everybody's going to get some minutes tonight the way this is going right now. Yep, 46-25, 19-point lead, but neither team scored for a while. So, 5 West will have it. He's going to get it to 12 Turner over to Bowman. Bowman will get it into Health. Health will turn. Looks not about the shot, but gets it to West, and he'll get it back to Bowman. Bowman shoots no good rebound by West. Blocked by Lane. Oh, that's not a foul. Yep. There he we got go. all ball. Odie called that one. That was number 20, Lane Hooper. It first and eight on the line. Uh, number five, Dave Wolf. Preston West will shoot his first one. And that one is good. So that'll be 26 46. Center's up by 20 with 3.40 to go. Hit some both. Uh, Chase will have it. He'll bring it up. Guarded tightly by help. He'll get it to Titan. Titan over to Lane. Lane will pull up to the top of the key. And it's good. 
You can't leave lane open for him anywhere, really. No. And uh, Lane's going to get that one and shoot it, so center's up by 22. Help will set a screen. And stolen away, almost oh. stolen away by Kent Chase. He's trailing, but Turner does a good job with the ball. Turner will get it back. Thought about shooting the three. Kind of traveled with no call. Uh, West will get the rebound. No one goes up. He jumps up over everyone. And But now Lane finally jumps and gets that one. And there's a fight for it. And they'll get a foul on number 12, Turner. Yeah, Turner got a piece of his arm. Six seconds. Team second. I kind of realize what covers the problem is. Five West and Turner, they really don't pass as much. No, they, they want, don't. They want the ball in their hands. And you can't do that in basketball. Might work in football a little, but basketball, not too much. Yeah, they, they don't use their teammates very well. Oh, they're going to get Caden Zink for a foul. Yep, his first, team's third here in the 34 second Morgan half. 34 will come in for 44 Bowman. So center's still up by 22, 49-27. Bowman oh will help will throw it up to 34 Morgan, and he barely misses the alley-oop. Just kind of bounced around and got unlucky there. Oh, Ken Chase is left wide open. Ken Zink will have it. Lane will have it. He gets it back to Ken. Ken, Ken needs have to it. drive on yeah. him. Klaus he can't, can't guard him. Yeah. Uh, Lane will have it. Guarded by Turner. And Titan will have it. Gets it to McCoy. McCoy will don't shoot it. Somebody. Boy, he was open. He should have went up with it there. Yeah, I would like to see him and Zink put some shots up. And they'll get it to Zink, and he'll shoot it. And Zink's 2 for 2 from 3 point lane tonight. And he's got his 6 points, right? 6? Yep, 6 on the night. West will have it almost stolen away by turn. Well, Zink, and they'll get it to Help. Help makes a good move. Pump fake. Lane jumped for it, and he'll score. So, Senators up by uh, 23. Payne Zink will have it. He goes for another three. Same spot. Ooh, barely misses. Grace McCoy tries to fight for West with the rebound, but West pulls out of there. West will spin, shoots over three defenders. Ooh, Got bounces it. Nice right move in. move by West. Lane will have it. Gets a pin up to Zink. It's two on one. He gets it to McCoy. McCoy easy to lay up and he scores. So everybody's getting the bucket tonight. Uh, JV will probably come in after this quarter. I would say we up by 23, or well, more than that, right? 23? Yeah, 23. 23, right, yep. Yeah. Sprouse will, not Sprouse, Klaus, Klaus will shoot it. Yep. McCoy will have it. Oh, I should shoot it. Kent Chase will have it. He'll get it to Lane. Lane's going to drive, and he will put it in. So we'll be up by 25 with 40 seconds to go in the third quarter. West will drive, shoots, no good rebound, and by West himself misses it again. Klaus will have it, he puts it off, misses it too. And West they'll get fouls. West for a foul. It's his first. Team's third. Uh, Jackson Cameron will come in, and Titan Williams will go off the rim, and Kent Chase will get subbed in by Mason, will subbed out by Mason Cox. Uh, Lane will have it. He looks, gets it to Mason, up to McCoy. McCoy's going to dribble it up. Makes a move, almost stolen. Oh, he it to Cameron. Cameron's going to drive. Gets the fender off of him. Misses, though, right off the front iron. And uh, 22 help will have it with about 15 seconds to go. And he'll get it up to, uh, who is that, Morgan? Morgan, yeah. Yeah. And he'll shoot air ball, rebounded by 10. Oh, oh, oh Sullivan, oh, my God. Uh, will have it. He gets it to number 22. Help. He'll shoot a deep three, and oh, it banked, banked it, it in. in. Looks like Mason Cox up at Coast City right there. Yeah. Hitting the game winner. Hitter. So, uh, Senators up by 22. We'll take a quick break here. Work from our sponsors on Near Home for West Washington Sports, WWSR. Expertise. Resources. Commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances 
and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. All right, back here live at West Washington High School here on the Ron Smith Court. The Senators out to a 22-point lead here, 56-34, as we head into the fourth quarter of play. Eight minutes back up on the clock, and uh, we'll bring you home here as the Senators with a big quarter there, 18 points in that quarter of play. As... Uh, as they uh, built their lead out a little bit further here in this basketball oh. game. So, the uh, Senators will get the ball here to start the fourth quarter. Mason Cox will inbound. We well, got throw, Mason. As he gets it in finally to Caden Zink. Caden Zink with it. He'll bring it up, crosses the timeline now with it. I'd like to see Zink just pull yeah. deep. He'll get it to Cameron, back to Lane. Hopper with it, out high, goes to Mason Cox. Mason on the attack, drives, and gets blocked from behind, out of bounds to West Washington. I thought he got fouled there a little bit, but no call. And the Senators are inbound underneath their own bucket here. Lane to throw it in as he sets, and gets it in to Caden Zink. He'll pull it down and shoot it. Can't get it to go. Fight for the rebound. McCoy tips it out of bounds. So back to Crothersville. Tigers to inbound. They'll get it into Bowman. He'll get it right back to help. Quickly up to O'Sullivan. He'll drive the lane. Looks. Kicks it on the baseline. Shot up by 34 Morgan. And it goes in. Mason Cox will pass it in. He gets it to Zink. Back to Cox. He got it down. Okay. Off to Hoffler. He'll drive. Kicks it. McCoy with it. I'd like to see McCoy go up with it there. He yeah. gets it back over to Lane, beat three, and he got another one to go. McCoy's like a zinc. He looks to pass first more than anything. Yes, I think he the does. confidence there is they're just more of a passing player. Well, these are the kind of games you want to shoot. Jackson yeah. Cameron gets called for the foul on the other end. His first foul, team's fourth here. It's Jackson's and, second. Uh, is it his second? Yeah. Now they haven't changed it yet. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. I read it wrong. Hey, I'm always yeah, they right. Had five you need to learn that your dad's always right. Oh, yeah. Is that why he said lane passed the lane earlier? <laughs> First shot up by Morgan is no good as he misses it. He'll get another one. Nice, Morgan. I know, y'all. Second free throw up, and boy, that's hard off the back of the iron. Hopper with the rebound. He'll get it off the sink now. So, Senators back the other way with it. 59 36, West Washington. Ooh. Zink with, or Caden Zink with it, gets it out to Hopper, a deep three that time, and he buried that one. Too many Zinks. Yeah, there is, 62-36. He'll hand it back over to Bowman, now over to Help. Help with it, out to Klaus. Klaus pulls it down, looks, now kicks it off, far away. It goes back over there to Morgan, back out high to Help. Now in the corner to Klaus, he looks, nothing there for him. He's on the dribble, now kicks it to Bowman. Bowman with it, back out high, comes to help. He about loses it, now spins, goes up with it strong off the iron, got it to go. So help. Oh, help gets a steal. Oh, they're called foul and lane. But also by help there. Kind of snuck in and got that one. Titan Williams will come in for Lane. 22, Kent Chase will come in for Mason Cox. Uh, who came in for them? I think 12, Turner came in, and 5, West came in for 42, Klaus, and 33. Um, they don't have 33. Yeah, West gets it into Turner. Oh, it's Helt. Helt oh, got subbed out by West. Yeah. Turner out high back to West. Now he'll dish it off. Morgan will shoot a deep three. No good. Rebound Titan Williams. Titan will get it off. Kent Chase. Kenton brings it up. Crosses the timeline. Looks. Now gets it to McCoy in the corner. Back out to Chase. Far side to Zink. Zink back out to Kenton. Shoot now it, Grayson. over to McCoy. Three ball. Can't get it. And a battle for the board. Jackson Cameron going to pick up the foul there. He gets his second of the night. Team's fifth. 62. 
to 38 here. Senators uh, with a 24 point lead. No sub as West will bring it up. He drives, stops, jumps, stop, gets it up off the rim. No good. Got his own rebound. Kicks it out. Deep ball there by uh, 12 Turner. No good. Rebound again by the Tigers. Back up. Air ball no good there by Morgan. Getting chased off the zinc. Back to McCoy and he scores and one. So McCoy with the bucket. They're trying to get everybody in the, in the score book. And McCoy will go to the line to try to complete this three-point play here. So McCoy will go to the free throw line. I would say they put the JV in here in a couple minutes. Oh, I would say McCoy's free throw no good. So he misses that. It stays 64 to 38. Back the other way. West with it. Gets it inside to help. He'll spin. Throws it up. Can't get it to go. Battle for the board. Going to go out of bounds to Crothersville there. As number 20, Crater knocked it out. Referee's got to take the time out here to tie his shoe. Hoffler went out of the game. I'd say he's probably done for the night. Yeah, him and Mason both are probably done. I'd say they put the JV in, in about four minutes probably. Ball to be inbounded. Crothersville gets it in, and it's kicked out of bounds by McCoy. So it'll go back to the Tigers. Deep three ball up, and it's good. As O'Sullivan hits one. It's not that they're not athletic enough. It's just they just get cold, and they're the two West and Turner. They want to try to do everything by themselves in a basketball. You can't do that. McCoy with it. Back out to Zink. Now he get it off to Cameron. Oh, he's about to throw it away. Gets it over to Kent and Chase. Zink took off, and Cameron thought he was still there and threw it out to him. Inside the Titan, back out to Zink for a three off the mark and tipped out by McCoy as he tries to get the rebound. They'll go back to Crothersville here, 64-41, 23-point lead by the Senators. Ball brought up by West, they throw it in the corner to Sullivan, back out to help over the West. He'll shoot a deep ball, no good. Rebound battle for him, tipped back to Crothersville. And they'll dish it out to West. He'll drive again, throws it up. Guys, that's a pretty good player. Yeah, he's pretty good. Him and Turner, pretty good, but they Six, just don't pass the ball yep. enough. 64-43, Kenton Chase. This is out to Zink. Another three ball up, and he buried it. So Zink hits another one, 67-43, Senators. Ball back inside the West. He'll drive it again. Yeah, uh, the Senators not playing too much defense, but they're playing a lot of offense. 67-45, they get it off in the corner. Now back out to Cameron for three, misses that one short. Off the rim, tight battle for the jump ball. board, and they're going to be a jump ball called, I would say. Jesus, call it. Yeah, <laughs> Titan kind of used the old uh, Captain Insano move there. He looked like he was wrestling. By the way, we got two wrestlers going to the uh, semi state tomorrow. Mason Jones and, uh, oh, uh, I, my mind, Wyatt, Wyatt Johnson. Johnson. Yeah, I us. forgot about Wyatt. So, though, good luck to those two guys tomorrow in the semi state. Good to see that. Those kids uh, work hard. That wrestling is a tough deal. Yeah. West will drive, goes in the lane, throws up a runner. Couldn't get that one. Almost got his own board, but Jackson Cameron bulldogs it out there. Up quickly to Zink, and they oh, throw it geez, away. Oh, jeez, that kid just got nailed. Yeah. About hit that kid in the head, but it got his foot. Good thing. Uh, Carson, what's his last name? They got all kinds of subs coming in for them. Carson, Carson Mollett comes in for the centers. He comes in for Jackson Cameron. Let's see, 14. Uh, Phil Shaw comes in. 42, Klaus comes in. 32. Steel there. comes in. Steel by uh, Carson. Drive by Kent Chase Sports. Kent scores again. It's his first bucket here in the fourth quarter. 69-45, number inside, stolen again. 
tipped out by Kenton. He gets it over there, 23 with it now. Carson Mullet. Carson Mullet. Mullet back to Kenton, out to sink for a three, off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound by 14, Kelshaw. And they throw it away, I believe it'll go back to West Washington. Yep. Silas Bat will come in for Kenton My buddy Chase. Silas coming into the game. Silas can shoot it. He shot some You don't in that see JV too many 6'2 big boys that can shoot the ball. JB, uh, uh, JB Senators got a win too tonight. I think it was by that. about 22. And Landon Holloway will come in for Titan Williams. So uh, Coach Sullivan clearing the bench except for Grayson McCoy, leaving him in there. Grayson's like, I want to go out too. Yep, they're all in there. Zink stays in the game. Yeah, Zink and McCoy. So all the young ones in there now for the Senators. Zink will bring it up. 69-45. I think, I think he wants Zink and McCoy to score a little more because they don't, they don't shoot the ball too no, much they, in close they don't. games. I wish McCoy would shoot it more. Oh, They try, try to, to get it into Silas, and he gets fouled. And he's going to probably shoot. Well, no, they don't have enough. For, they're not in the bonus. Number 32, Lucas Hilton. 32, Hilton. Guilty. Teams four, so they, we're not shooting free throws yet. Yeah, so Senators uh, inbound ball, it'll get it in. It comes into McCoy, he'll get it to Zink. Zink drives the lane all the way to the hole, but missed it. And a long board tipped off by Mollett. Silas on the ground, he gets it off the Mollett. <laughs> and nice play by Silas. He gets it back out to Zink. Zink drives. This is to Silas. Oh, and he can't hang on to it. Thought Silas was going to get his first varsity bucket there. I think he has one. Does he have one? When we played it against no. I don't know. Wiseman into the game. So Zink will come out. Caden played well. Three three pointers. Nine points in the game for Zink. And uh, what's his, who's that? Oh, Jaden Coulter will come in for Grayson McCoy. And the Coulter in for McCoy. So they've played the bench now. All JV kids in there. Good With to a see. minute 50 to go. 150 left. You got the drive. drive. I know. I'm, I was, I was oh, trying to shoot. write something Sorry. down. 35, Robinette with it. Hits it out high. Bounces off the player's foot. Crosses the line. That's a back and over. Another turnover for the Tigers. They've really struggled with it. So it'll go back to the Senators here with 128 to go in the game. 69, 45. It'll come in to uh, Wiseman. We'll get it off to Coulter over there. Now back out to Holloway. Holloway looks. This is three ball up by Mollett. No good. Tipped out. By and Coulter. Wiseman will bring it down. Gets it to bat. He'll shoot the three. Can't get it. Coulter and saves it again. Coulter tries oh, it to bounce. save it, but it goes out of bounds. They're really wanting Silas to get a three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cratersville up with it. They get it off there to 20. Crater back out high on Sullivan. Back to Crater now. Back out high on Sullivan. Goes in the lane. 14 with the shot. No good. Battle for the board. Pulled down and now stolen away by the Senators there. Colter comes out there with it. He'll bring it up. Vicious to Mollett. Back to Colter. They're just going to hold it probably. Colter off the Wiseman. Wiseman pulls it down, almost stolen there by O'Sullivan, but a foul. Going to be called against O'Sullivan in second. Team six. Still no free throws. 26 seconds. No inbound. They get it in to Coulter. He'll cross the timeline, gets it off to Silas. 
Matt with it. Off two Holloway. Over to Coulter. Coulter now. Off to Mollett. Mollett with eight seconds. Looks like they're just going to hold it here. Yeah. So that's going to be the ball game here. 69 to 45. Take a commercial. We'll take a quick break, add things up here, come back with the final stats. Senators with a big win, 25 point win, 69 45 over Crowdsville. We'll be back here with our final stats and a final comment on your home for Senator Sports, West Washington live stream. At Eddie Gilstrap, our customers are family. Rated in the top 6% nationwide in Ford dealers, we pride ourselves on our no-pressure environment, honesty, and integrity. Come see us today and discover why we're different. Eddie Gilstrap Motors. When you hit that water, you're going to want to look for weeds, sunken structures, down trees, stuff like that. And let that breeze tell you where you want to go. Windy days like this, those bait fish will come swimming closer to shore. They'll bring the big boys with them, those bass and those pike. And they like cooler temperatures, so you ain't likely to have much luck. You're good at giving fishing advice. We're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. After two years of study and research, the Washington County Community Foundation launched its first proactive initiative, Youth First, in 2007. Their goal was to create a positive environment within the county where youth are valued, their needs come first, and investments are made in their well-being. In 2011, Youth First merged with the YMCA to best serve youth through their common commitments to youth development, healthy living, and social responsibility. This merger allowed for further utilization of Youth First missions and the possibility to grow development assets in our community more initially. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers. Unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227-9421. 227-9421 or just visit our website. All right, back here live at West Washington High School. The Senators with a big win here tonight. 69-45 over the Crothersville Tigers to run down our final individual stats here. Crothersville led in scoring by uh, Preston West, number five. He had Six uh, field goals, two for two from the free throw line for 14 points in the game. Uh, Helt had uh, three two-pointers, two three-point field goals for a total of 12. Um, then O'Sullivan had two uh, field goals, one three-pointer for a total of seven in the game. Turner uh, had two three-pointers for six. Um, Morgan had two field goals for four, and Bowman rounded out the scoring with a field goal for two to give them their 45 points for the victorious West Washington Senators. They were led in scoring by Lane Hoffman. Lane uh, had five two-point field goals, four three-pointers, two for two from the line, 24 big points for Hoffler in the game. Uh, Kent Chase, the second leading scorer for the Senators, with uh, seven field goals, one for one from the line, 15 points for Kenton. And this one, uh, Jackson Cameron had a big second quarter, all his points in that second quarter of play. He had three three-pointers, one two-point field goal, a total of 11 points for Cameron. Uh, Caden Zink with three three-pointers for nine. Uh, and then we had Mason Cox with two field goals for four. And Tyke Williams got a bucket. Uh, for two as well, and Grayson McCoy also had four points on two field goals. So the Senators with 69 uh, total points 
in this contest here tonight. Uh, and a great uh, great team win, it's one that the kids needed. Got a lot of kids in the game, saw a lot of playing time, and that's what you want with a young basketball team. And uh, just another good win. That gives the Senators six wins on the year. And uh, they continue to build six and 11 now on the season. Games coming up next week uh, on Tuesday night. The Senators will be at Orleans, taking on a very good uh, Orleans Bulldogs team. And then, as we mentioned, next Friday and Saturday, another doubleheader here at home against Henryville on Friday night. And then on the road at Mitchell on uh, Saturday night. That game was rescheduled from earlier in the year because of the uh, weather. So we had to, had to move that one back. So busy week of basketball next week. Also here on West Washington live stream, you can tune in to the girls regional uh, action coming up here tomorrow. I tell you, if you haven't seen the Lanesville girls play, that's quite a treat. Uh, Coach Akers will tell you, and they are really, really good. Uh, some great teams in that regional. Vincennes Reve, also a very good team to come see in that regional as well. And I think, I forget who the other team was in that, but uh, that's a, uh, it's one of, so I forget. Trinity, yes, uh, they won the sectional here. So uh, that, that should be a great regional. So if you're not doing anything tomorrow, you want to watch some good girls basketball, uh, this would be the place to be. That'll be a good, uh, a good sectional or a good regional here at West Washington hosting as uh, they do a great job here, uh, Coach Akers, uh, you know, and all the all the staff does a great job uh, here. Darren Russell, the athletic director, all the people involved here do just a tremendous job. I'm sure Ron Smith will be catering in the uh, hospitality suite, so that's a treat by itself. And uh, so if you're not doing anything, come out and uh, watch some good girls basketball here. So we'll be back. With that action, tomorrow, Titan Williams uh, will be uh, on the call here along with uh, Gabe Porter, who does a great job as well. So uh, those guys are uh, doing, doing the job tonight. Caden has already took off. It's his birthday. He's going with some of the ball players, and uh, uh, hopefully they'll behave themselves. That's all I got to say about that. So uh, we say happy birthday to Caden, and uh, we're going to get out of here tonight. So for uh, Caden Abbott, this is Bubba Abbott, and Craig Akers, the professor. Uh, we say God bless you, and we'll send it back over to West Washington Live.